With our housekeeping done, we've got the ACL, the standard ACL we wrote on router one is gone and we're ready to write an extended one, apply that and try to meet those requirements again. Just as a quick review in case it's been a little while since you watched the previous video, we want traffic to be blocked if it's leaving network 3, 3330 slash 24 and going to network 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 0 slash 24. We do want traffic to be able to leave network three and go to network one over there on router one, 1110 slash 24. And we also want router three to be able to reach any networks we add to router one in the future, as opposed to adding them in the past. So let's go ahead and bring our router up and let's get that access list written first. And let's review those numeric ranges. Very important stuff here. Standard ACL ranges 1 through 99 and 1300 through 1999. Our extended ranges 100 through 199 and then 2000 through 2699. So I'm going to go with 100 here. And we're going to stick with deny and permit. That's what we're really interested in. And we're going to deny first here. And some slightly different choices here. We've got protocol number. We didn't look at this earlier. I, I want to show it to you now. You can add the protocol number, which you're going to do on very rare occasion. Here, we're just going with any internet protocol, which is simply IP. And here we've got source, source address, any source host, a single source host, or source network object group. So I think the router is trying to tell us we're putting in the source address right now. We're going to go with that network 3330. We're going to put our wildcard bits right here. We know what that one is from previous videos. And now notice that we are prompted for destination. So we know we're writing an extended ACL. And also note that there is no CR here. Even if you just wanted to match on source, then you would have to put any here. And any and host are coming up. We're going to cover those in the next video. But I'm sure you can see with any, it's any destination host. So what we want to do here, though, is put network 11 in, right? Because that's the source and destination we want this line to match on. Are we going to make it? We're just going to make it. Going to use iOS help here, and you can see we still have other options. And we will have some ACLs later that actually run off the screen, and you'll see what happens then. So right now we've got align ACL 100 deny source network 3330. We've got the wildcard bit set, destination network 111110, wildcard bit set, and we are in good shape there. So if we want to then negate the implicit deny, We've got to go with permit IP any any here. And there is not an echo in here. Because you've got to put any for the source and then any for the destination. So again, even if you are just matching on one of the two values, you've got to put any for the other one. So if I were denying packets, regardless of source that we're going to network 11, I would have put deny IP any and then 11, 11, 11, 0 and then the wildcard mask and you're all set. So it looks pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and run a show IP access list. And there you see it even tells us extended IP access list 100, the first line. We know that's our deny and the second line is our permit. So we are ready to go there. Now we've got to apply it. And we're gonna do that in the exact same fashion that we did the extended ACL because that's going to be either your numeric range or a name that you give it. We're going with 100 here. And again, you have to specify inbound or outbound. So we're good there. And those are the end of our options, or that's the end of our options. So we are good there. Let's go over to router three and start testing this out. So what we'll do first is ping network one, because that should be allowed. And again, we're going to change the source here, 3333. And it goes right through. And you can see, again, we get the confirm packet sent with a source IP address, source address of 3333. If you wanted to run debug IP packet in a lab environment and, and check that again, you certainly could. That's a debug, though, you want to be very wary of, of running in production networks because it just gives you so much information. It can actually overwhelm the router. So let's try pinging the 11 host. Ah, and those are getting rejected. U.U.U. .u .u. 
and that's a really good sign that something downstream is blocking it. In this case, it's an access list. So we've tested it almost thoroughly. We've tested it thoroughly, I should say that. We could do a little bit more because what was that phrase I kept coming back to with that one requirement, you know, of, of allowing it to reach current networks and those we add in the future? Hmm, let's go over to router one and actually add a network. And we'll make a loopback 111. That's an address that'll make you go blind. Now, I want to just go over to router three and ping because the access list should permit that, right? Let's go ahead and have a look at that. Do I need to add anything to this for to allow pings to the 111 network? No, because the second line is permit IP any any, so we should be perfectly fine there. Let's go over and try it. And make sure we change the source of the ping. And we're looking good. So I will go ahead just one more time, just in case something changed, and try that one. That's the one we should not be able to ping. The ACL should be blocking it, and it is. And then finally, we will ping 111 one more time. And there you go. And by the way, when I show you these two different variations of ping and how to change the source IP address, uh, there's no right or wrong decision between the two. It's just when you go into an extended AC, excuse me, an extended ping, you just have to answer some more questions, keep tapping enter, that kind of thing. So if you're just changing the source address of the ping, I recommend you do it the way I did here and just put it at the end of the ping command. Now, we definitely have some things we need to go back and examine now that we've gotten this far with our ACLs. One of them is that host and any that we kept seeing, and we kind of know what's going on there, but I want to go over that with you anyway. And also a couple of other little things with pings and ACLs. We're going to check all of that out coming up on the very next vid.